Hello, this is Chris with uh, My Cricket Forum. This is part two of flashing the Evo 3D to Cricket. I left you guys actually working on APN Backup Restore, but we're going to change uh, up what we're doing here. I did have a little problem with the hands free activation. Um, actually, and what helped me figure out what was going on or how to bypass uh, the hands free activation was uh, Sprint's website. Um, it says that the bottom uh, portion, uh, if all other programming methods have failed and if you have completed the activate your phone, yada yada yada, um, on the phone dial pad, press pound pound followed by the six uh, digit code you received in activate your phone process in my sprint. Actually, uh, what they're referring to is the SPC, which would have been different, but we've already changed that uh, if you follow the tutorial. So for us, it's pound pound zero 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 pound, and that'll bring us into uh, this the EPST menu. We're gonna click edit. Um, we edited our phone numbers right here, and MSID was the MIN, and then we hit the menu and we hit commit uh, modifications, and that rebooted the phone. You can also uh, all right. Let's say uh, you reboot the phone. Um, another thing you're gonna want to do is go into the dialer and dial pound pound D A T A, which is three two eight two pound. You go get into this menu. You might ask for the password again. Um, you'll actually probably get into this menu, and then you go hit advanced. You'll come down here and you'll see RTSP slash HTTP settings. You're going to want to edit these. We're actually not in edit mode right now. You're going to want to make all these zeros. So 0.0.0.0, .0, .0, .0 port 0, 0.0.0.0, .0, .0, .0, port 0. You might recognize this from the Evo tutorial. Uh, I don't think we had to blank out the ports in that one. But this one we do. We tested. That was the only way we could get YouTube to work. Uh, if you go to your data profile, this was another problem we were having. It would blank out the data profile. Uh, the active profile was zero. It somehow changed to one, so we put our username in there. Um, all these are 0, .0, .0, .0, .0. Uh We left all this the same down here. So then you can back out of that. And once the phone reboot, we connected uh, back to QPST, and we had seen that some of the settings had changed. Primarily, the changes were in M.IP. It had this uh, profile under one, so we had to enter all of our information again. Our phone number at mycricket.com. Uh, we entered cricket as the password there and there, and zeroed all these out. It also changed the IPs for the addresses over here. So we zeroed those back out. We entered cricket and cricket there. I believe in the EPST menu over here we also entered cricket cricket. under the data profile I think we uh, we changed these to cricket manually could have played a part might have not played a part in this working go back to PPP config I believe in the tethered NAI it had rewritten that as some sprint um, data profile so we fixed that and I think it rewrote that one and we fixed that Actually, if I remember correctly, it had also rewritten some of the profiles here, perhaps the top one. So make sure all of that has uh, been set correctly, and then write to phone. When you reboot, everything should be working. Um, we had to redo the, the APNs. They look like they're a little bit different than the uh, Evo. Basically, we took what well, we had backed up, opened it up, and changed some settings in it, but that'll be posted on our website so you won't have to worry about how we uh, we acquired the correct settings. We'll just give you them. 
and then you gotta delete the APNs after you've already backed up the stock ones go ahead and click yes and after you do that restore the uh, the correct ones click OK at this point you might have to reboot or you might not We did uh, send some messages here. That was received. This was me sending the picture. And this is a picture that I sent. I made it real small so it would be easy on the phone. And I received it over here. So that's another tutorial from www.mycricketforum.com. Please join the forum, um, contribute to it, or ask questions, uh, spend some time on it, click some banners or whatever you want to do if you find that interesting. Uh, subscribe to the channel on YouTube so you can see the uh, newest devices that we flashed over and reviewed. And if you need any help, uh, use the contact form or post up in the forums. Thanks. A couple things I wanted to add to the end of this is that we actually used a brand new out of the box uh, Evo 4G that had never been activated before. If you watch the first part of the video and you program it uh, using CDMA Workshop to uh, get the SBC or change the SBC and C uh, QPST, uh, I don't think you'll have a, a problem if you're using a uh, phone that was previously activated. You'll already have all the uh, data fields filled out with uh, sprint information and you'll just have to uh, modify it uh, from that. Uh, we noticed when using the device that uh, our incoming text messages were uh, coming in like an hour late so we went to the market and used a program called SMS Time Fix. Uh, if you go into the settings of that program you can have it use the uh, phone's time uh, to correct everything. Uh, it'll stop using network time. Again, please visit www.mycricketforum.com for more information.